well. I think everybody is here. Is everybody here? Yeah, we're here. Yes. I just love it when one person says, yeah, we here. Okay? One person say, yeah, we, we here. <laughs> okay. Well, the food is coming. All right. So is Christmas. But, uh, and so is Jesus. I don't know about Jesus coming. I don't even get into that conversation with nobody. You understand? That is not my. I'm not down. Okay. But if he's coming, he's welcome to One Africa like the rest of y'all. Okay. Um, I just wanted to go over a few things with folks so that, you know, you can't come back later on and say, you didn't tell me that, excuse me, fellas, that you didn't tell me if I went out in that water and drowned that I wasn't coming to get you, okay? Uh, this is the Gulf of Guinea. That is not friendly water. We call that the graveyard the watery graveyard of our ancestors. And people have drowned out there. And we tell everybody that comes here that you have to be careful. There's nothing to say that you can't go along the water's edge, but if you get to climbing on rocks and you're feeling froggy and you want to jump out there in that water, know this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, but no, but no, who ain't coming out there to get you is me, all right? Because I've already told y'all what the deal is. But I want to welcome you officially to One Africa, and I know that by the time you're ready to leave, I'm going to have to put you all out, which is par for the course around here. But I want to welcome you. This is paradise. The only thing why I won't do is throw flowers on you. But this is paradise, this is your home. We want you to enjoy yourselves. If you have any complaints, and oftentimes there are complaints, but if you have complaints, keep them to yourself, okay? Don't even bother to bring them to me. Short of, there ain't no toilet paper in the bathroom, I could take care of that, okay? But if you have any issues, if you need something, the staff is around. Um, there is some um, yo-yo who's at the bar, and Felix. And I want you to meet some of the people that you're gonna deal with. So, you know, I know how we can be coming from America. It's like, well, I don't know who that is, okay? I don't know you, okay? So can I get some, you know how you, you know how you all act, okay? So, um, yo, yo, can you come out for a minute, please? Uh, this is Felix. Felix is at the front desk. You'll see him around. If you need something, just let him know. Oops, something in my eye. This is Kwame. Kwame is our manager. Okay. Uh, where's Yo Yo? Come, come, Yo Yo. All right. Okay. Yo Yo will be taking your orders, drinks, food, and she'll be here. And she's always smiling, okay? If she's not smiling, there's something seriously wrong. And, but she's always smiling, okay? And then we have, um, I'd like you to meet Dr. Dean. Dr. Dean is from Atlanta. He is our resident chiropractor masseuse. So if anybody is interested in a treatment, then you'll sign up with Dr. Dean. Dean, I'll assist you. have to do a little more stretching in that. And then I'd like you to meet, um, where to go? Justice. I'd like you to meet Justice. Justice does reflexology. This is another member of our team, Justice. Um, Mama Zulu. Mama Zulu is here by way of Atlanta, Georgia. She's been here over 10 years. Mama Zulu does reading. If anyone would like to have a reading, you'll see her personally so she can work out the time for you. And say so. Welcome everyone, Aquaba, Aquaba. Uh, 
for those of you that are interested in having consultation with me on Sunday afternoon, I would like for you to schedule the time as soon as possible. And just know that I will provide a car for you to come for you where I am. So um, I think the best thing for us to do right now is for you to have a mode of contact to reach me. So I have some cards that I'm going to be putting right up by the bar. I only had seven cards. One of them have already gone, or someone has already had their appointment schedule starting at three. So there are six cards left. So first come, first serve, all right? They'll be right up here on the bar. Thank you so much. Enjoy your time being here. I had one young man that just came and asked me, what would happen to me if I don't go back? He is his first time in Africa, first time in Ghana. He has fallen in love with this beautiful paradise. He doesn't want to go back home. Yeah, where where are you, my brother? Come on, come on out, come on out, come on out. My, my response to him is, do you have a means of resources to take care of yourself? Plan well, young people. You want to come home, plan very well. And we're welcoming you back to come home, all right? What's your name? Meeting the coffee. Uh, you don't go back, you'll be very happy with your decision. You'll be very happy, trust me. It's challenging, most certainly. The rest of the staff, um, Atre, is Atre around? Yeah, please. So people know who they're dealing with, okay? And the other thing we want to introduce you, oh, Dr. Z. Dr. Z is here by way of Alabama. She ran away. Alabama, then Atlanta, then Ghana. And she's been here for more than 20 years. Came here, one visit, and never went back. No, I never visited. I did what he did. I came and never went back. Well, didn't I say that? Yes, you did. Okay, no, I did. Right. In one visit. You, you, you visit and you move at one time. She, she did all of that in one, one time. time. Excellent, okay. excellent. You'll see her around. She's very creative. Um, she makes all kind of jazzy earrings and stuff like that. So you'll see her. Okay? Uh, there are... Um, some of you met my son, Shabazz, who is also from Atlanta. And... Um, is that him? Yeah. Shabazz. Quick, quick, quick. Okay. This is my son Shabazz from Atlanta. Okay, you'll, you'll see him around. So you don't have to worry, this ain't a stick up man. Okay. All right. And so the rest of the staff is in the kitchen. Um, we've got three or four or five other people around. You'll meet them. Uh, what I wanted to also sh introduce you to some of the things that we'll have available for you, especially men. Brothers will love this. This is called Tiger Nut. Uh -oh. oh, look at that. Listen, you hear him over there? He's over there growling, about to have a young baby. He uses this all the time. Wow. <laughs> that's a, that's but this is, this is excellent. There is a brother in Sunyani who is now doing organic Tiger Nut powder. Organic red peppers. Organic ginger powder. Moringa. I promised everybody I'd give them a play. Peanuts, we do. Garlic. What is this? Uh, molasses. Peanut paste, or peanut butter, as we know. And honey soap. You will not want to leave here without buying some of this stuff. Honestly. This is um, it's made with honey, black soap, bee propolis, and citronella oil. Okay, you're gonna love it. And you're gonna buy more than one because you'll get back to America and run out and wish you had bought two, okay? Returning home ain't easy, but it sure is a blessing by Imaka Sokofu. In Search of Destiny by 
Sonia Maifu returning to mother. Take me home to Africa by Joanna Charles. These are all repatriates who've written about why they came, a con protocol by Nana Chittawa. And we have a Babio written by 18 other people who've repatriated and tell their stories. It's good to read about what folks have gone through to make this happen because it's really not been an easy task, but it's been worth it. Right now, some of us have citizenship. I got my citizenship along with 34 others. There she go, she got hers. I got mine. I'm now a citizen and um, we are working at trying to get citizenship for others. Right now there's a program going by a group called BADA, which is the Bureau of African Diaspora and Affairs. And we're trying to get the government to do similarly what the last president did, was on his way out, granted citizenship to the 34 of us. Hopefully, we want to get hundreds of people to have their citizenship here in Ghana. So if you have any questions on that, you'll be around for the next three or four days, three days, and um, we can talk about it. People are interested in repatriation. We have a community here. We are almost 200 strong, having come from the United States, okay? You had a question, sis? Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna entertain you for the rest of the evening. Now I want you lazy people to get up and dance, okay? You can't hear all these drums and just sit there and look very disinterested like, damn, what is this all about, okay? So we want you to have a good time so that when you leave here, you'll be rushing back to America to send more people back here to us, okay? So let's get a drummer some. The drummer is Fire Hands. And the reason we call him hands is because his hands move so fast you can barely see them. All right, let's get a drum of sound. Yes.